Amen. Good morning, everyone. Parang antok pa kayo, ha? Good morning. Amen. And once again, if we're blessed with the house of God, pwede ba natin palapakan muli ang ating Panginoon? Amen and amen. And first of all, syempre, sorry for the inconvenience. Napalipat po tayo dito sa ceremonial hall. Kasi po meron, merong event ng Marriott doon sa Manila Ballroom A. Pero maganda ba ang ceremonial hall? Amen. Maganda yung grand ballroom. And uh, let's pray for more blessings sa Marriott Manila. And today, are you excited to hear God's word? Parang mahina. Are you excited to hear God's word? Amen. If you're excited to hear God's word, once again, we just, just give God our very best clap offering. Amen and amen. I'm also excited to share with you God's word today. But first of all, sino ba dito mga tagalasal? Meron mga tagalasal dito. So yeah, may mga tagalasal. So congratulations to us. Kasi tayo po ay champions sa UAAP. So kaya po sinabi ko last week na ako po ay fan ng Lasal. Why? Because I graduated from the Lasal University. And it's really a great experience. Why? In my batch kasi, 108, 2008 to 2013, Before, before mag-2008, champions yung Lasal, 2007. Kaya lang yung pumasok na yung batch namin, hanggang matapos yung batch namin, wala man lang kahit isang panalo ang Lasal sa UAAP Finals. Tapos afternoon dun lang sila nanalo. So medyo sabi nating malas po yung, yung batch namin. Walang panalo, kaya po this time, the, the batch today, very much privileged sila na nakakuha sila ng championship. Amen po doon. And today, when... With regard to that, when you come across this word, ano pong nasa isip nyo? Favor, right? What comes to mind? What do you feel? What comes to mind? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng favor? So siguro at that time sa UAAP Finals, ang favor ay nasa lasal. Kaya po sila ay nanalo. But you know what? For me, for me to explain this because it's a very deep word, there's so many meanings to this word, So I would like to share my, my experience, two testimonies for me to share to explain the word favor. And the first testimony, kasi po yesterday po ako po ay nasa De La Salle University. I was invited my, by my batchmate na ako po ay mag-speak sa mga graduating class. So ito po sila. So dyan po sila mga 45 students who will be graduating in their personal effectiveness class. And it's just a great privilege. It's a favor from God. Why? I was able to share my life. I was able to share my college years, my working experience. And guess what? I was able to share you. Ang COG Marriott po ay na-share po natin dito sa, sa De La Salle University. And I'm very much blessed. Why? All the students were really interested about life. They are interested about purpose and their calling in life. And it's a great privilege. It's God's favor na sana na-invite ko po kasi sila pumunta dito sa Marriott Manila and prayerfully sila po ay makapunta next Sunday. Amen po ba doon? Natuwa po ba kayo doon? Sige, kung tayo natuwa, pwede ba natin palakpakan si Lord? So, simple things like that comes from the favor of the Lord. And another thing, I wouldn't be in De La Salle University without the favor of God. Why? Because when I was in high school, I, I only applied in three, in three universities, UP, Ateneo, and La Salle. So, si UP, hindi na po nag-reply sa akin. So, feeling ko, bagsak po ako sa UP. Na si Ateneo, wala na rin pong reply. So, feeling ko, bagsak din ako. Si, si De La Salle University lang po ang nag-reply. So, when I, when I told my dad, Dad, uh, I passed De La Salle. Uh, so yung dad ko, very much excited, very much overjoyed. Sabi niya, congratulations to me. But at the back of his mind, he was talking to God. Sabi niya, Lord, paano to? Pumasa si AJ. Paano yung pambayad namin sa tuition fee? Kasi at that time, the tuition fee was 52,000 per term. Kaya lang ang term po doon, trimestral. So 52,000, first term, second term, third term. So 150,000 for one whole year. And he was asking God that time, Lord, Paano yung tuition fee ni AJ? And then you know what? Guess what? Suddenly, the next morning, tumawag po yung aking tita. At sinabi niya sa daddy ko, Anthony, Anthony, may sabihin ako sa'yo. Anthony, na naginip ako. At sabi niya dun sa panaginip, sabi ni Lord, paaralin ko daw si AJ. Paaralin ko daw ang iyong anak. Kita niyo nga naman. Pwede ba natin pablakpakan ng ating Panginoon? And yung tita ko po ay nandito, si Tita Mirna, and siya po ang nagpa-aral sa akin sa college. So, thank you, tita. And you know what? It's all because of God's favor. 
just God's favor. Kaya po, ako po ay nakapagtapos din ng college. And when we look at it in really God's word, ano ba ang favor? When we look at it in the Greek word, the meaning is, uh, the translation is uh, charis. Kaya pala pag ikaw ay may charisma, may favor pala. Ang tao pala ay may favor sa sa'yo. At mas maganda sana kung si Lord talaga ang may favor para sa atin. And what does it mean? What does charisma mean? mean? It means God freely extending Himself to you because He is inclined to bless you. Wow. Right? Just wow. Why? Because God wants to be with you. Yun pala yung gusto niya sabihin. Gusto niya i-extend yung kanyang sarili. Gusto niya tayong makasama. Why? Because God is very much excited to bless you, to bless me, to bless all of us in God's house. Amen po ba dun? Amen. So yan ang ibig sabihin ng favor. God goes with us. That's why we are blessed. And the Bible character that we're gonna talk about today is Elijah. So are you familiar with Elijah? So nakikita natin siya sa Bible, si Elijah. And you know what? Elijah is a man of God. This is our title for today. A man of God. Why? Why is, is he a man of God? Because God's favor is upon him. Simply means sinasamahan siya ng Panginoon sa kanyang buhay. So pinagpala ang taong itong si Elijah. But something happened in 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 1. If you have your Bibles with you in 1 Kings 17, verse 1, it says here, And Elijah, the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead, said to Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel lives before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years except at my word. Well, ano nangyari? Diba? I thought God was favoring Elijah. I thought God was favoring the people. Why is there no dew nor rain? Meaning there was dryness in the land. So ganito po itsura ng dryness. The whole land was dried up. There was no water. There was no food. And what would that equate? It would equate, equate to death. Kasi wala silang pagkain. Wala silang tubig in their land. So what will happen to them? So what is God telling us right now? If God could favor our lives, if God could favor our nation, you know what? Possible din pala that we could lose God's favor in our lives. So ano nangyari? Paano nangyari yun? What happened? Why did, why did Israel lose the favor of God? Because in 1 Kings chapter 16, verse 29 to 30, it says here, In the 38th year of Asa, king of Judah, Ahab and the son of Omri became king over Israel. And Ahab, the son of Omri, reigned over Israel in Samaria 22 years. Now, Ahab, the son of Omri, did evil in the sight of the Lord more than all who were before him. Wow. Sama ng ginawa ni Ahab. And Ahab made a wooden image. Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings who were before him. So that's what Ahab did. So if we're gonna recall it, di ba God's favor is upon Israel? Tama po ba yun? Right? God's favor is upon the land of Israel. They are the chosen people. They are the chosen country. But here comes Ahab, an evil king. So he did more evil than the other things before him. So I remember the story of, an, of one of our church members, si Kuya Ranel po from Das Marinas. Kasi po, he's a construction uh, engineer. So pumunta po siya sa site, siya po, yung nag, siya po yung contractor dun sa site, and suddenly, paglabas po niya ng car niya, may sumalubong sa kanyang tatlong lalaki. At yung tatlong lalaki na yun, isa po dun, tinutukan siya ng baril sa ulo. So sabi nung lalaki, Sila po ay may plan na nakawan si Kuya Ranel. So sabi nila, ayaw ka namin saktan, ayaw ka namin patayin, uh, ibigay mo na lang ang iyong cellphone at ang iyong pera. So dahil po si Kuya Ranel, ayaw pang mamatay, binigay niya po yun lahat. Pero here's the thing, yung mga magnanako po, hindi po kinuha yung car keys niya. Hindi po kinuha, hindi po nila ninakaw yung kotse. Why? Their, their level of evilness ay hanggang sa pagnakaw lang ng cellphone. Hanggang sa pagnakaw lang ng pera. Why if you, you try to steal the car, ibang level na yun. Ibang, ibang, iba ng kaso ang haharapin mo yun. Pwede ka nang habulin. Pag, pag, uh, pag kinuha mo yung kotse, car napping na yun. It's a different kind of evilness. So hindi po nila pinuntahan yun. But here, Ahab, lahat po yun, lahat ng evilness na conquer niya na. He's at the top of it. At you know what? His evilness provoked God to anger. Kaya po right now, 
they're really experiencing dryness in the land. So today, before we continue, we just bow down our heads and let us pray. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, we just invite your presence to be in this place. Lord God, we don't want to do this by might nor by power, but only by your spirit. Lord God, today we ask for your favor. Lord God, your people didn't come here for me. The, the people didn't come here, Lord God, for the place. Lord God, the people came here for you because they need your favor today. They want your favor today. And Lord God, right now, we just ask for your anointing. We ask for your wisdom. We ask for your favor. And Lord God, we commit, Lord God, all the victory to you. And we give you back all the glory and all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everybody shout, Amen and Amen. Sige po, palakapakan po natin ang ating Panginoon. Amen and Amen. So Elijah was part of that place. He was part of Israel. He was also experiencing dryness. So ito pala ibig sabihin, a man of God also experiences dryness in their lives. A man of God, a pastor, a Christian, a fellow believer also experiences dryness in their lives. Diba? Parang ang hirap gumalaw. But you know what? Ano bang kayang gawin ng favor ng Panginoon? What can God's favor do for your life today? Amen? So are you excited to hear God's word? Amen and amen. And this is God's word. In the next verse, it says, in verse 2 to 3, it says, Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah, saying, Get away from here and turn eastward and hide by the brook Cherith, which flows in the Jordan. So this is how it looks like. So Elijah is a Tishbite. So he's coming from Tishbe. And uh, King Ahab is from Samaria. So nandun yung mga kalokohang ginagawa nila. But God's leading for Elijah was to go to Brook Cherith. To Brook Cherith. And you know what? You know what? Having God's leading for our lives, having God's word in our lives is God's favor for your life. Amen po ba dun? If you have God's word, it's God's favor for you. And for me, why? Because it gives you the right direction in life. Why? Kasi possible that Elijah, kung sarili lang niya, in his own sense of mind, in his own logical mind, he could go westward. He could go and attack uh, the king of Israel and pagsabihin niya. But it could bring him to suffering. It could, hit, could bring him, it could lead him to his death. Buti na lang, may leading ang Panginoon para sa kanya. God's favor is upon him. He was saved from those sufferings. And when you have God's word, it will lead you to the safest place of your life. Kaya po yan po ang kanyang gawin ng favor ng Panginoon. God's favor can save your life today. Amen po ba dun? God's favor can save your life today. And I would like to continue my story, my college story. Nagtataka po yung mga iba kong friends. Sabi po nila, uh, how did you do it? How did you do it? Kasi anong, anong how did you do it? Sabi nila kasi, bakit sa college, nasa lasal ka, hindi ka man lang ba nagka-girlfriend doon? Hindi ka man lang ba nagkagusto sa mga babae doon? Parang pwede ka na maging chick boy doon, pwede ka na maging playboy doon, hanap ka na maraming babae and fall into sin. So tinatanong nila, how did you do it? How did you accomplish it? So ang daming party places doon, ang daming pwedeng bisyo, smoking, inom, and all those things. So sabi nila, how did you do it? So when they were asking me that question, I also asked myself, oh nga no? What happened? How was I able to endure my college years? How, how was I able to uh, conquer and have the victory over my college years? And God impressed in me. It's not because I'm strong. It's not because I'm, uh, uh, I'm strong against temptation. No. It's all because, sabi ko, it's just because of God's favor upon my life. It's God, lead, it's God shielding my life. Sinishield niya po ng favor. Hindi niya po ako nililid sa mga maling kaibigan. Hindi niya po ako nililid sa maling lugar. He always keeps me in the safest place. Because ano bang sabi ko nung college? Before I entered college, yes, it's a prestigious school. Uh, mapasama ka sa lasal. Wow, wow na agad eh. Di ba? Pero sabi ko kay Lord, before I entered college, sabi ko, Lord, if this school will just lead me into temptation, if this school will just bring me far away from you, if this school will take me out of the ministry, sabi ko, Lord, huwag na lang. Lord, kahit hindi sikat yung school, okay lang. Lord God, kahit hindi prestigious yung school, okay lang. 
Gusto ko lang mas mapalapit sa'yo. And little did I know, ino-honor pala ni Lord yun. Napapakinggan niya pala yung mga heart's desire natin na mas mapalapit kay Lord. And wow, it's all because of God's favor upon my life, upon our lives. That's why we are still here. Amen? Amen. Kung so, kung totoo po yan sa inyong buhay, pwede ba natin balakpakan ng ating Panginoon? Amen. Hallelujah. At hindi pa po tapos si Lord, in the next verse, in verse 4, it says, And it will be that you shall drink from the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So, kung ako po si Elijah, tatanungin ko po si Lord, Lord, sure ka, raven ang magpapakain sa akin. So, ganito po ang itsura ng raven. When isang ibon. So, uh, experience nyo na ba yan? Napakain na ba kayo ng ibon? Diba? Parang balikta, diba? Tayo yung nagpapakain ng ibon eh. And ang raven kasi, it's a symbol of death. Pag nakita mo yung raven, ako, kamatayan yan. Pag nakita natin yung raven, ako, malas yan. At very ironic na ito pa yung gagamitin ni Lord sa dami-dami ng ibon, isang raven pa. So if I would, I would be Elijah, I would ask God, Lord, are you sure? Is this really your leading? But you know what? He didn't ask those questions. Wala na siyang ginawa. All he did was he followed God's leading for his life. And it says in verse 5 to 6, it says, So he went and did according to the word of the Lord, for he went and stayed by Brook Cherith in God's favor, which flows into the Jordan. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. Wow. God's word was true in, in Elijah's life. Talagang pinakain siya. So if you're gonna look at it this way, all, all the places was really deserted. All the places was really dry. There was drought in the land. So, kung i-imaginein po natin yung mga cartoons, mga Disney movies, naghihingalo na sila for water. Talagang they are dry, they are perspiring. Then suddenly, Elijah saw an oasis. Nakakita siya ng paradise. Pambihira kasi pinagkaluuban siya ng Panginoon. At ngayon, nakainom na po siya, nakakain na po siya. And that's what God can do in your life today. God can turn your desert into a paradise. Amen po ba dun? Amen. God can turn your desert. Are you in your dry place today? Are you in your desert place today? You know what? God can turn it into a paradise. Kahit anong pinagdadaanan mo yun. Amen po ba dun? Amen. Sige po, palakpakan po natin si Lord dyan. So as, as Elijah was experiencing his paradise, suddenly, uh, naubos po yun. In verse 7, it says, And it happened after a while that the brook dried up because there, was no, there had been no rain in the land anymore. So naubos. Wala rin palang forever dun sa, sa lugar niya, sa brook Cherith. So another leading from the Lord came in verse 8 to 9. And it says here, Then the word of the Lord came to him saying, Arise, go to Zarephath, which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. See, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. So how does this look like again? So this is the map of Israel again. So uh, Elijah will be coming from Brook Kerith. But ang leading na ng Panginoon ngayon is top, top there. Really, topmost part of Israel at Zarephath. So ang layo po, di ba? It's not just 20 kilometers. It's about 80 kilometers away po from, from Brook Kerith. And you know what? If I am... If I am Elijah, kasi po ako po ay tamad, mareklamo po ako. So what I would tell God, Lord, ang layo naman. So kasi in their time, wala pa naman pong kotse. Di ba? Wala pa pong BMW or Honda nung time na yun. So lalakarin po ni Elijah yan going at the topmost part. If I were Elijah, I would tell God, Lord, ang layo naman. And I would tell God, Lord, a widow, a widow meaning balo, wala na pong asawa, Wala na pong breadwinner, siya na po yung breadwinner. Wala pong magtatrabaho para sa kanila. Siya pa yung magpapakain sa akin, Lord, are you serious? Is, re- is this logical? Parang very illogical. But you know what? This is what God told Elijah. You know what? I have commanded. Whatever I'm telling you today, I have commanded. Meaning, God had already taken charge of your situation. God had already taken charge of my situation. God had already taken charge of Elijah's situation. He's in control. And that's what God's favor could do for your life. God's favor orchestrates everything for you. 
Ibig sabihin, inarrange niya na yan kung bakit ka nandito ngayon. Your tomorrow, God arranged it already for you. Your next week, He arranged it already for you. Your next year, sinong ano, kinakabahan for their 2017? Meron po bang kinakabahan? Some are fearful, makakapasok kaya ako or magkaka-work kaya ako. Uh, dapat na ba ako mag-resign? Should I level up in my business? So many worries, so many fears. But here's God's word. God's favor orchestrates everything for you. Wala ka nang dapat ikatakot, wala ka nang dapat ipakamba. Why? Because God's favor is upon you today. Amen? Amen. Sige, palakpakan po natin si Lord. Hallelujah. So do you want God to orchestrate everything for you today? Yes, we want God to orchestrate everything. So how do we do it? Ano ba dapat gawin? So in the next verse, it says, in verse 10 to 12, it says, So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to, to the gate of the city, indeed, a widow was there gathering sticks. So right now, at this very moment, God is already moving in the life of Elijah. Elijah will be used by God to do something great, to do something wonderful. And grabe, how, how blessed Elijah is to receive God's word. He has God's leading in his life. And what does it say next? And he called to the widow. And he called to her and said, Please bring me a little water in a cup that I may drink. So kung tayo po yan, in a very dry place, drought na po, desert na po, some, somebody, a stranger came in front of us at nangihingi ng tubig. So bibigyan po ba natin siya? Kasi limited supply na lang yung water eh. Wala na eh. Onti na lang. So bibigyan po ba natin siya? Well, right this moment kasi, God checks if we have a willing heart. Willing ba tayo na magbigay ng kahit kaunti? Willing to give something we have. Siguro meron pa namang tubig at that time. And then next, it says, And as she was going to get it, as the widow was going to get it, he called to her and said, uh, Please bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. So kung ako po yan, sabihin ko kay Elijah, kapal na mukha mo ha. Kanina, tubig lang. Ngayon, may tinapay na. Alam mo namang very dry yung place ngayon. But God is checking once again our hearts. Are you willing to give more than what you are willing to give? Why? Kasi the, the widow, she's willing to give water. Simple lang, water lang. Kaya lang, yung tinapay, para sa kanya na yun eh. So are you willing to give something that you, uh, more than what you are willing to give? Somehow, hindi na siya willing to give yung tinapay na yun. So, ano bang sinasabi ng widow? True enough, she was, not, she was not ready to give it up. So she said, so the widow said, as the Lord your God lives, I do not have bread, only a handful of flour in a bin and a little oil in a jar. And see, I am gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare it for myself and my son that we may eat it and die. So she's, hindi sa hindi lang willing eh. Pero wala na talaga. Just a little flour na lang, just a little oil na lang, and it's for them, it's their last drop, it's their last food, and after that, they don't know anymore what will happen in their lives. They don't know what will happen anymore for later or for tomorrow. That's their last drop. So their emptiness, it's in their, they are in their emptiness. Their emptiness will lead them to their death. It's their last drop. Though, though kahit gano'ng ka-willing yung widow to give, kaya lang huling-huli na yun eh. But this is what Elijah said to them. This is what Elijah told them. And Elijah said to her, Do not fear. Do not fear today. Why do not fear? Because don't you know that God knows what you're going through today? Don't you know that God knows that this is your last drop? Don't you know that God knows that this is your last day at work? Don't you know that God knows that this is the situation of your family? And sabi ni Lord, do not fear. I'm in control. I'm taking charge of your life. Kaya po sabi ni Elijah, go and do as you have said, but make me a cake, a small cake from it first. So kung ako po yung widow, pambihira kanina, tubig lang, tapos naging tinapay. Ngayon, cake na. Pambihira ka talaga, Elijah, no? Pero this is the thing kasi, God checks, God is checking you right now. Are you willing to give your best? Are you giving, willing to give your best? Meaning, to give your everything 
for a man of God because God is talking through him. Are you willing to give your best to our God and Heavenly Father? And what does it say? And bring it to me. And afterward, make some for yourself and your son. But the true thing is, if you make a cake, kanina tinapay, kaya, hati-hati tayo. Pero cake na ngayon. So you're gonna give your best, may design pa yun. So wala na talagang matitira for the family. Pero sabi nung, sabi nung woman, uh, later may sasabihin yung woman, but ito muna yung sinabi ni Lord. For thus says the Lord God of Israel, the bin of lar shall not be used up nor shall the jar of oil run dry until the day of the Lord sends rain on the earth. God has given His word. God has given His promise. God has given His favor for you. That's why we should not fear anymore. Amen? If you have God's word, you should never fear kasi kasama mo ang Panginoon sa buhay mo ngayon. Amen po ba dun? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So because of that, this is what the woman did in verse 15 to 16. It says, so, so the widow, she went away and did according to the word of Elijah, and she and he and her household ate for many days. The bin, and what happened? The bin of flour was not used up, nor did the jar of oil run dry according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by Elijah. When, when the widow gave her everything, she thought nothing would be left anymore. But when she gave it all, okay, by faith, she gave it all to the Lord. She just followed the Lord. What happened? What's left is an unlimited supply. Yung, yung, yung lalagyan po ng flour, kuha lang po sila ng kuha at hindi po nang uubos. Yung, yung oil, jar of oil, lagay lang po sila ng lagay. Pero yung oil, jar of oil, hindi na uubusan. Wow! Di ba? What a great miracle. Sana ganun din po sa ating mga gas tank, di ba? Sa ating mga kotse, sige, drive ka ng drive, full, papunta ng empty. Pero pag empty na, automatic, di ba? Automatic, nagre-refuel. Sana ganun. Sana ganun din sa ating buhay. But that's what happened. So widow, gamit lang sila ng gamit, pero there was a miracle. Hindi po na uubos ang kanilang pagkain. Dahil sumunod lang sila at may pangako ang Panginoon para sa kanilang buhay. That's what God's favor could do to your life. You know what? God can turn your emptiness into a miracle. You're empty. You're, are you empty today? Ubus na ubus ka na ba ngayon? Uh, ubus na yung strength? Uh, you're so tired? Uh, your business is going down? Your family is uh, shattering apart? Well, that's the meaning of empty. Wala ka ng laban. But, yung last drop na meron tayo pag binigay pala natin kay Lord yun, wow, He's gonna perform a miracle upon your life today. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Sige, palapakan natin si Lord dyan. And that's how we let God orchestrate everything. He's just gonna get a little, but He's gonna perform something wonderful, something unimaginable in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. In the next verse, this is what happened in verse 17. It says, Now it happened after these things, the son of the woman who owned the house became sick. O, paano na yan? Ano nangyari? And his sickness was so serious that there was no breath in him. Pambihira, di ba? I, I thought God was orchestrating everything. But, but what happened? Why did my son get sick? Why, why did my son lose his breath? Namatay po yung anak ng widow. Why does these things happen to us? It might also normally happens to us that we just, just recently experienced a victory. We just recently had a wonderful time, a memorable time of the year, right? And then suddenly after that, may masamang mangyayari. May pangit na mangyayari. But ganun? Diba? Why does these things happen to us? I thought God orchestrates everything. But why did this happen? And usually, you know what, as, as, uh, as these things go in Elijah's life, as he experiences down times, dry times, empty times in Elijah's life, usually God has a word for him. Usually may sasabihin ng Panginoon, may leading ang Panginoon sa kanya, but ang sumalubong po kay Elijah, hindi leading ng Lord, pero ang leading ng widow. At ang sabi ng widow in verse 18, and she said to Elijah, What have I to do with you, O man of God? Have you come to me to bring my sin to remembrance and to kill my son? So tinatanong niya, Oh, Elijah, akala ko ba ibigay ko lang kay Lord yung everything and magpa-prosper yung buhay ko? Pero bakit ganito? 
If we're in his situation, sad situation ni Elijah, may nagtatanong sa atin, sa atin, I thought kailangan ko lang maging born again and my life will be wonderful. I thought kailangan ko lang pumunta sa church and everything will be okay. I thought mag-serve lang ako kay Lord and wala na akong problema. Pero bakit ganito? Why is this happening to us? Sabi nung, no, nung widow. And I could just imagine Elijah na he was left speechless. Ano, ah, kasi ako, anong masasabi ko dun? Bilang leader of the church, well, si Lord yan, di ba? Pwede kong sabihin ka nun, bahala na si Lord, di ba? Pero, siyempre, si Elijah, hindi rin alam ang kanyang sasabihin kasi wala rin leading si Lord at that time sa kanyang buhay. Kaya po, ito na lang yung sinabi niya in verse 19 to 20, it says, and, and he said to her, give me your son. Wala na siyang magawa, sabi niya lang niya, give me your son. So he took him out of her arms and carried him to the upper room where he was staying and laid him on his bed. Then what did he do? Then he cried out to the Lord and said, Oh Lord my God, have you also brought tragedy on the widow with whom I lodged by killing her son? So right now, nag- nagko-question na si Elijah kay God. Lord, bakit ganito nga? Wala ka lang word na binigay eh. So problemadong problemado na si Elijah. And at these moments, na naranasan nyo na bang mag-question kay God? Di ba? Minsan napapatunong tayo, Why, Lord? Why? Why ako bumagsak, Lord? Why ganito yung business, Lord? Why ganito yung family? And when we're in those questions, when we're in those moments, somehow, uh, onti na lang, onting step na lang ay malu- mahuhulog na tayo sa cliff. At ano pong gagawin natin? Babalik na tayo sa ating old ways. Ayoko na ng Christianity, ang hirap niyan. Ayoko na kay Lord, uh, pinabayaan ako. Ayoko na, ayoko na sa church. Uh, at, uh, wala namang ginawa yan para sa akin. And as we, go to ba- to go, as we go back to that evilness, ito na naman, we could tend to provoke God to anger again. At mawawala talaga ang favor ng Panginoon para sa ating buhay. But you know what? I could just understand their situation. Why? They were all under stress. They were all under deep stress. They were all under dryness in their lives. Mayroon po ba ditong feeling dry today? Well, maybe God is talking to you right now that you feel dry. Why? Because these people, uh, Elijah feels dry. Why? Because he doesn't have God's word at his time right now. Uh, the woman, the widow, she feels dry. She feels so much stress. Why? Because her son just died. And the son is dead already. Wow, they just experienced the ultimate result of dryness, death. Tapos na yung buhay. Dahil dry, dahil dry yung panahon, may namatay. And the most crucial thing is for Elijah, he also feels dry. Bakit? Kasi wala siyang word ng Panginoon. God was very silent. God was not telling anything. At siguro po sa ating Christian lives, in our spiritualities, dumating na po ba tayo sa ganong point? na pray tayo ng pray, tanong tayo ng tanong kay God, pero walang sagot si God. We don't understand why. We don't really understand why. Bakit ganun? Walang sagot. Hirap na hirap na ako. So anong gagawin natin in these crucial moments of our lives? What will we do? And you know what? This is what Elijah did after that. This is what Elijah did in verse 21 to 22. It says, And he stretched out his hand. He stretched himself out to the child three times and cried out to the Lord and said, O Lord my God, I pray, let this child's soul come back to him. And what happened? Then the Lord heard the voice of Elijah and the soul of the child came back to him and he revived. So what happened? What just happened? What just happened to this, to this family? Pianist, could I call the pianist? What just happened to this family? This is what God did. This is what God did. God can turn your mourning into dancing. This is what God's favor could do for your life today. Are you right now in your mourning stage? Maybe somebody died in your life today. Somebody passed away. There's mourning. And when when we're dry, when we feel dry, we feel dead inside. Spiritually, we are dead. We are mourning. But this is what God's favor could do in the middle of your mourning times. You know what? God's favor could turn your mourning into dancing. 
into happiness again, into joy again, because the once what that was dead has now become alive again. At anong ginawa ni Elijah? What did, what did he just do? When he was feeling those dryness, when he was feeling that God was not talking to him, when he was feeling that God was silent, what did he do? Simple lang ang kanyang ginawa. Mas nagsumiksik pa siya sa Panginoon. Mas lumapit pa po siya sa Panginoon. He really tried to get closer and closer and closer to God. The more he felt that dryness, the more he felt that stress in his life, the more that he felt that emptiness in his life, hindi siya nagpakalayo sa Panginoon. Mas lalo siyang sumiksik. Mas lalo niya pong sinik si Lord sa kanyang buhay. And why? What happens when we seek the Lord? Because it's, this is God's word for us. The Lord hears a heart that longs for Him. The Lord hears your heart if you really want Him, if you really desire for Him, if you really desperately want God's favor in your life today. And I would like to end here. You know what? One of the driest moments in my life I experienced during college. Talagang yung point na yun, it was my deepest valley, it my, my lowest point in life. I was really feeling dry. Yung feeling mo na wala ka nang magawa, wala ka nang ma-achieve, walang nangyayari sa buhay mo, you're just dry. Wala eh. And I felt that uh, I was alone. I felt that I could not run to anyone. Wala akong mataguan, wala akong mapuntahan. Wala eh. I was just really feeling the dry moment in my life. But you know what? I believe you've experienced those things as well in your life. And maybe right now, you're going through those driest moments of your life today. Na may namatay eh. And siguro in relation to us Christians, we feel that spiritual death in our lives because we feel dry today. But you know what? Isa lang sinasabi ni Lord, you feel dry today. You feel really hard, really heavy. You know it. You could explain it yourself. You have your own version. You have your own experience of this desert in your life today. You're feeling it. I'm feeling it. But this is what God says. You know what? I'm, I'm just here. I'm just here for you. All I want you to do is to really long for me. Long for my heart, son, daughter, child. Just seek me all the more. Just last one drop. Just last one step. Just go closer to me. And my embrace is with you. My love is with you. My favor is with you. Just come closer. Just come to me. And I will make everything all right in your life. Not just all right. I'm going to give you the best for your life. Because I want to favor you. Because I want to bless you today. And if that's your prayer today, you're saying, Lord, that's me, Lord. I'm that dry person today. I'm that dry Christian today. I, I've been working in church, been working in the office, been doing my business, Lord. Doing everything for the family, Lord. But right now, Lord, it's already almost the end of the year, Lord. I'm tired. I'm dry. I need your favor today. And if that's your cry today, if that's your desire today, that you really want the Lord to move in your life, God's favor to move in your life. As the worship team sings this song, I invite you to come to the altar. And we will pray for you today. Hallelujah. So as the worship team sings a song, you may freely come to the Lord today. Hallelujah. The more I seek you, the more I find you. The more I find you. It's more than I can 
up your hands today if you're feeling dry if you think you 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 want to really you really want to feel God's presence you know what God is more desperate God is more excited to bless you today today as you raise up your hands today you're just saying I'm desperate. I want your presence. I want to get out of this dryness today. And let's sing this song one more time from our hearts. Hallelujah. The more I seek you, God, the more I find you. The more I find Calling you today. Back against you and 
God, thank you for moving in this place. Hallelujah. And you know who you are. You know who, whom God is talking to today. You know it if it's you, if it's me. And we feel, you know it, we feel this dryness inside of us for the past days, for the past weeks, for the past month. We're feeling so dry. We just don't know how to get out of it. And today, God has given His word to you already. Just come closer to me. Just long for my heart. And I will find favor upon you. In the midst of your desert, I'm going to find favor upon you. And it's going to be a paradise for your life. Hallelujah. And for those who came here in front, we just raise up our hands to God. Raising up our hands with faith. As we raise up our hands, this is an act of surrender. That it means we're surrendering all to God. Everything. We're going to raise it up to God. All that we have. So that God may orchestrate everything already for our lives. Hallelujah. Right now, pwede yung pubawas sa bayan sa panalangin na ito. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. I come to you today. I come to you today. With a humble heart. With a humble heart. Because I'm feeling dry today. Because I'm feeling dry today. I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling tired. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I'm burnt out, Lord. I'm burnt out, Lord. And I don't know what to do. And I don't know what to do. And it's all right. And it's all right. To be honest with you. To be honest with you. That I don't know what to do. That I don't know what to do. And Lord, today. And Lord, today. I come forward. Forward. I come closer. I come closer. To your presence. To your presence. Because it's only you. Because it's only you. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Could take off. Could take off the dryness. The dryness of my life. Of my life. Only you, Jesus Christ. Only you, Jesus Christ. Can find favor. Can find favor upon my life. Upon my life. And make everything. And make everything all the all right. All right. From this day forward. From this day forward. And today, Lord. And today, Lord. I entrust to you everything. I entrust to you everything. And allow you, allow you, Jesus Christ. And allow you, Jesus Christ. To orchestrate. To orchestrate. My life. My life. From this day forward. From this Hallelujah. day forward. We just give God our very best clap offering. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Just thank you, Lord God, for, for this time, Lord. Lord God, you just love us so much and you just feel us so much today. 
all the drought of our lives, all the dryness, the desert of what we're experiencing right now. Hey, Lord God, by faith, we just cling on to you. We just move closer to you. And we believe your favor will pour upon our lives and upon our families today. Hallelujah. Today, we just raise up our tithes and offering to our God. Hallelujah. This is a gift from God. This is not ours. This is the Lord's. And we're just giving it all back. Why? Because if not for God's favor, we would have nothing to put in this envelope. It's just because of His favor. That's why blessings are overflowing in our lives today. Amen. So as we raise it, let's raise it up high. And let's pray. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for this wonderful time. Lord God, thank you for your blessing for us. Thank you, Lord God, for your blessing of financial wealth, Lord God. But Lord God, ayaw namin, Lord God, ipagyabang itong pera na ito, Panginoon. Why? Because without your favor, we would have nothing. We would have nothing to give, Panginoon. It's all because of your favor. Kaya, Lord God, let us not provoke you anymore to anger. Let us not provoke you anymore, Lord God. Lord God, through our evilness, Panginoon, ayaw na namin bumalik doon sa kalakohan namin, Lord God, sa kadayaan namin, Panginoon. But Lord God, we want you, Lord God, to be provoked, Lord God, to find favor upon us. Kaya, Lord God, mas sumisiksik kami sa'yo, mas tinatama namin yung aming buhay, Lord God, mas nagiging faithful kami sa'yo because that's how we value your favor upon our lives. Hallelujah. And Lord God, thank you for this wonderful Sunday. It's once again a beautiful and blessed Sunday. Why? Because you are in this place. Your presence is in this place. And it's your word, Lord God, who changes us, who changes us day to day, all the rest of our lives. And Lord God, bless your people who came here. And Lord God, just move in their lives from this day forward. Why? Because that's only you, Lord God. Only you could do it. Only you could change one's life to be better. Thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for this wonderful Sunday, Lord. And we claim the victory and we give you back all the glory and all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, everybody shout, Amen. amen. And amen. God bless everyone.